The Nazis, led by Adolf Hitler, murdered 6 million Jewish people. The Auschwitz concentration camp killed at least 1 million people. The Nazi regime sought to eliminate the entire Jewish race. Inmates lived in cramped conditions. They were starved. The Jews were prisoners and forced laborers. Six million people. Six million Jews. Six million people murdered because of their religion. Six million. If we remember one person who perished during the Holocaust every day, one of the six million people, it would take 16,438 years to remember all those we've lost. Over 16 and a half thousand years. One every day. One Jew killed every day for over 16,000 years. That's what the Holocaust was. One way we remember those who were murdered during the Holocaust is Alpha Epsilon Pi, the International Jewish Fraternity's annual Walk to Remember. This year's event at WVU took place on April 10th. So this event has been going on in AU Pi since its foundation here at West Virginia University. We do it to remember all the victims of the Holocaust, and we walk around to spread awareness so that we can never forget what truly went on. And we remember the six million the lives of the Jewish people that were killed in the Holocaust. Uh, and that's one of the most important things we can do as Jewish people is remember. So we start at Woodburn uh, just because it's probably the most iconic building at West Virginia University, you know, to show our relationship with the school. And then we go to Chabad and Hillel, which are the two mainstays of the Jewish community here, probably besides AUPI. Um, that's where we go for high holidays. Um, it, it's just the, the center of Jewish culture in Morgantown. Both of those places serve as a great place for Jewish students to be able to get food on a Friday night, celebrate Shabbat, all holidays throughout the year, and get in touch with their Jewish roots. I think this event is great for one, for us to, as Jewish people, to reflect back on the Holocaust and think about what how much we've lost as a culture and also it spreads awareness to others about the Holocaust you know if you don't learn your history you're bound to repeat it so I think that these type of events are huge to making sure nothing like the Holocaust will happen again. It's very important to visibly walk so that um, we get you know people people see what we're doing and uh, acknowledge it and understand I think that's the most important thing is that they that they understand what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, we want, we want people to be able to see us. Um, we hand out little papers everywhere we would go. If someone asks us why we're walking in silence to make sure that they never forget as well. And we are told that if we do forget, things like this could happen again. So we do our civil duty to the Jewish people as well as to ourselves to make sure that atrocities like this can never happen again. Part one is just to be out here trying to spread awareness of our message and the other is to kind of pay respects and pray homage to not only my family members who um, were affected by the Holocaust, but all the people who were uh, killed in one of our world's most terrible tragedies. I wouldn't be here today, personally, if my great-grandmother hadn't survived the Holocaust. Um, Dorothy, my great-grandmother, she was the only person in our family to survive. So if my great-grandmother Dorothy hadn't survived, she wouldn't have my grandmother Carol and my father, Scott, wouldn't have been born, so I would never have been born. So to think that I walk in, the, uh, in um, remembrance of my great-grandmother Dorothy's family, um, because it's, it's really important to me, as well as my brothers, because we have every single person in this uh, fraternity has some connection to the Holocaust. We have grown over the past couple years to get new people, but 
Back in the day, it used to be just fraternity brothers, and now we've expanded further to a lot of our close friends to make sure that we can spread awareness as far as possible. When we could open it up to the WVU community to see what, what, we're, what our fraternity is about and what we stand for and our values, there's nothing, you can't get better than that. So that's why we do what we do. Uh, AIPA is important on campus because we are one of the, for Jewish men, I would say the number one Jewish community on campus. Um, I think AIPI as a Jewish organization has a huge role to play and a huge responsibility in continuing to raise uh, Jewish awareness, Holocaust awareness, hosting events like these. I think these are important to who we are, really. It's, it's very important that we remember what happened. The Conference on Jewish Material Claims Against Germany in the first ever 50 state survey on Holocaust knowledge among millennials and Gen Z found that 63% of all national survey respondents did not know that 6 million Jews were murdered. Although there were more than 40,000 concentration camps, forced labor camps, and ghettos in Europe during the Holocaust, 48% of national survey respondents could not name a single one. Almost half of all millennials and Gen Z could not name one ghetto or concentration camp. There is a modern rise of anti-Semitism that has been seen all over the country and all over the world gravestones being desecrated, synagogues being vandalized, Jewish people being attacked and murdered for simply believing in their faith, and places of worship attacked. There is an undeniable rise of anti-Semitism. Um, it's very scary. Um, I want to be a history teacher when I'm older, and one of the big things you take away from history is that history is able to repeat itself. So we see things like the Holocaust, and then we see things like Jewish store owners in Brooklyn, their businesses are getting raided and having swastikas drawn on their windowsills. Um, all these things like that. Like it's just so, it's it's so hard to see because that's exactly what we saw in Germany in 1939 with Kristallnacht and all these horrible things. Um, it's very scary. I mean, like you said, the uh, rise uh, in anti-Semitism in our country as a whole, like it's impossible to ignore. I'm very proud of being Jewish. I don't try to hide it in any way. So that can be, you know, a little bit scary because what if someone uh, chose to attack us today while we were walking? You know, that thought's always in the back of your head, which it I think in a country like this, it shouldn't be. In a first world country, the thought, oh, I'll be killed for what I believe, it, it's a little ridiculous we're still there there is an undeniable rise of anti-Semitism. That's why it's important to remember the atrocities the world saw in concentration camps across Europe. We remember the suffering of those we've lost. We remember the inconceivable challenges of the survivors. We remember the ones whose names and lives have been lost to time. We remember six million souls. We remember that this could happen again. The rise of anti-Semitism is important. And as Jews, we remain vigilant in remembering all those we have lost during the Holocaust.